Here we would like to demonstrate how to uh, to set up the uh, the the Jenneker. So all uh, all lines are on halyard, tag line, and and the 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 sheets. So so everything is ready. Now uh, my dad will uh, will pull up the uh, uh, the halyard, and I will just help it out of uh, out of the the float. Then my next job is to pull up this uh, this snuffer. So I have one line to pull it up, and then the other line will be to, to, to pull it back down when we have to, to, to take it down. So I basically just pull here, and then we will have the uh, then we will have the 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 tag pulled out from the cockpit, and then the 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 clue the sheet is already on the winch. So here it goes. So now it's all the way in the top. Remember to attach this snuffer light line on the inside of the of the windward sheet so you will not have it on the inside and and make it stuck. Setting with Jenniker or also called asymmetric spindler on a dry fly is is great fun. Don't be afraid of it. Always make sure, this is very, very important, always make sure you have enough free coastline, so enough water so you can bear off and you have time to take the Jenniker asymmetrical spinnaker down. This is uh, probably the best advice at all I can give you. When you get too close to the, to the coast and you get forced by some more wind and you have to luff up, everything gets messy. So as long as you are sure you have enough water to leeward, uh, there is no problem. And when you're sailing, let's say, uh, all sailing with Jenica up to, let's say, 16 knots is no problem. If you have a love, uh, no, if you have a, a puff coming, don't love up, but uh, just uh, bear away quickly and the boat will depower immediately. But it's really great fun. If you're not used to uh, Jenica or Spinnaker, um, just test it out in, in low winds like uh, 5 to 10 knots wind, as uh, in, in Europe we say meters per second, between uh, 4 and 8 meters per second, and uh, you will have no, no problems. But it, it is really great fun because you don't have a spinnaker pole. Uh, this, uh, the, the, the front of the spinnaker, the, the, the tack is on the, is on the bowsprit, and uh, you're on a boat that is quite stable, so you don't have any rolling around. So. Actually, many people don't see it like this. Uh, the asymmetric spinnaker is basically like, like a like a Genoa, like a like a Genoa or a jib because you only have one sheet. And um, so it, it it really is fun. But uh, test it out in light conditions and uh, with a bit more wind, it it, it is really really fun. And uh, of course, when you if you want to to test it in more wind, uh, make sure that your crew and the helmsman is ready to react quickly to bear off and to let go of the sheet, of course. So, but it's great fun. I can only recommend it. It's, uh, we have great fun with it. Jiving with the spinnaker is, is very easy, uh, but you have to do it right. Uh, to make um, a nice jibe, make sure to, to jibe slowly. Many people are <laughs> uh, jibe too fast, but just jibe slow, just uh, go downwind slowly and keep it downwind without jibing the main. So we always pull over jibe and pull over the Jenniker before the main swaps over. So Peter and I will show you how it is. So make sure that the, that the, that the sheet is all free to go. There are no kings, nobody standing on the line. Uh, here I just let the line drop into the cabin so I know it can run free. That's very important. And then it's important that you let the sheet go off the windshield. So we'll make a jibe. I take the other sheet in, the new sheet in my other hand. I let go here, and as soon as the Jenniker 
uh, is in the windshield of the main when it collapses. You can let go 100% here. I will do that now and I pull here. Now I have the, the foot of the sail about three meters on the new side and <laughs> it's easy and now the main comes over and that's it. And again it's like jibing uh, a foresail. Um, so uh, there's nothing fancy about this. It's very easy. Just jibe the jenniker and the spinnaker before the main. This is the very very key point in this operation. To make a controlled drive with the main in, uh, in higher wind conditions, you can use uh, the main sheet instead of your bare hands uh, and to prevent that the main will, will slam over uh, and make this big bang. So uh, we will now try to demonstrate how to do it. And you simply just pull in the sheet uh, until you have a straight sheet here in the middle. And when the main has passed the middle of the boat, the center of the boat, you can ease out on the sheet again. We'll now try to demonstrate. So, bearing off. Pulling the Jenica over. I pull in the main sheet. As we come around, it has now crossed the center of the boat and you can ease out on the sheet again. And there you go. Then you maybe just have to pull a little bit in your hand here to make the uh, to make the mainsail come all the way over. On the Dragonfly 28, the 32 and the 40, we have an extra trim option on the on the on the Jenica. So we basically are able to pull the Jenica out of shelter of the main to windward side of the boat. So we would now like to to show you how to do this and we're using the uh, the barber hole line to pull it out to windward. So I'll just go over and take it off. So you can see the barber hole line runs all the way to the bow in a block over here. So you're able to use it on the Jenica. Take it off here. And as you can see, the Jenica sheet is pulled all the way down. So it runs straight back to the cockpit. I take the barber hole line in front of the force day. And I simply just attach it to the tack here of the, the Jenica. So it's easy to set up. And if you also want to use, uh, to use the, uh, the port side, you just take the port barber hole from here and also attach it to the tack. This means that you now have the two barber hole lines and you still keep the, the, the original tag line on and uh, you will uh, in a minute see why, why to do that. So right now we have the, uh, the original, the typical setup for, for the Jenica. So this is the standard position. So now I would like to show you how to pull it out to the, to the windward side of the boat. So you do this by easing off the, uh, the tack line and then you actually just start pull the barber hole here from inside of the cockpit. So you can pull it out to the windward side of the boat and you also have to ease off the sheet a little bit so, you can, so you're able to pull it to the windward side. So now the tag line, the original tag line on the bowsprit is all uh, loose. So now it's just about easing off the sheet. So now you can see you have it all the way to the windward side of the boat, out of shelter of the main. So you have, so, so the Jenica is able to, uh, to cast the wind on the windward side. It's very nice to, uh, to use when you have to go through a channel or if you have to point directly to a, to a waypoint uh, dead downwind. When sailing uh, with the Jenica like this, 
we have a true wind angle of approximately 160 and 170 degrees. To jibe with the, with the Jenica like this, you simply just ease off the barber hole and you pull back the Jenica to the center again, back to the bowsprit. Pull a little bit in the sheet again. Now we just have to go a little bit closer to the wind to, to have some wind in the Jenica like this. And now we're actually ready to make a jibe as if it was without the barber holes on. To take the spinning down, it's also important to do it right. So when you take the spinning down, go go downwind, not so you jibe, but go almost downwind, so you lose air in the spinnaker. And this is important, pull in the, uh, the spinnaker sheet, as I do now, because then, then you get, you, you see now, then you get the spinnaker in the wind shade of the mainsail. And actually, I, before Peter, Peter will, will now prepare to pull it down. Yeah. Okay, and I will now just release the tag line and nothing happens. Okay, Peter, take over. And as I said before, it was a slip knot, easy to take off. And then you're just able to pull down the snuffer, easy and controlled behind the mainsail. It's very easy to pull down. Make sure to step aside so you don't come inside the snuffer. <laughs> but that, I think that, uh, that is clear. So then I open the hatch and then we have the, the halyard loose in the cockpit and then you are actually able to just put it directly into the float. So, before closing the, the hatch, please take off uh, halyards, uh, the sheet and the tag line before closing. Otherwise, you will experience water coming into the hatch, even though you have tried to, uh, to close it. Going downwind, we also have the mainsail to focus on. So, uh, as you see here behind me, we have this uh, preventer. This you can call it extra main sheet system. This is always on our boats, on the draft boats. So there's one on the port side, one on the starboard side. So going downwind, uh, put on the, the printer in where basically where the main sheet is. So we have a, a, a pulley system to pull down to control the, the, uh, the roach in the mainsail. Otherwise, the mainsail would twist too much. We don't have a, have a kicker here like a monohull because this would never hold the boom will, will break immediately if we put on a kicker here so uh, you can sheet out so the main set touches the uh, the side stay the back stay or the uh, shroud you can say and um, then put on the um, the boom system and pull in the main sheet a bit and then you have the main sail fully in control at all times going downwind Going down when we have another uh, feature with the barbell system, so you can uh, go downwind and uh, butterfly the the sail. So uh, for the Genoa, we have this uh, barber hole again uh, that we use normally by beam rigs, so you can pull it out. And now you see that that yeah. So now we have butterfly uh, on the head cell, and we don't need. Uh, a spinnaker pole to do this. Uh, now this is nice calm conditions, but if you have also wavy conditions, it's uh, this way you can downwind, uh, set the sails hard down, and uh, 
the sails are, are very nice and controlled at all times. So this is a safe and fun way to go downwind with the uh, boomerang on the mainsail and the barbell system on the on the genoa. They are ready for this way downwind.